Hi there, today I'm going to talk to you about Business Central. Um, so what is Business Central? Well, it's an ERP or Enterprise Resource Planning software provided by Microsoft. Now, Business Central or BC is available in the cloud or on premises. And today, the version that I'm talking you through is in the cloud. And we have BC here in the screen in front of us. And what I wanna make you aware of first is that we're currently logged in to Business Central as a business manager. So I've just gone to the settings cog on the right here. And if I go my settings, we can see that the role that I'm currently logged in with is business manager evaluation. So this is quite important because the elements of the screen that we're just about to go through, the home screen in Business Central and everything else is role driven. Um, so I can drill down and choose a few other roles. So I have service manager, sales order processor, manufacturing manager, and so on. But for the purposes of today, we'll remain as a business manager evaluation role. I'll talk through some of the other roles in another video. So coming back to the home screen, I'll just break this down. So along the top here, we have the Microsoft 365 bar. Underneath the Microsoft 365 bar, on the left-hand side here, we have the current company that I'm logged into in BC. So it is possible to have more than one company in BC, and I'm currently logged into the Cronus UK Limited Company. So to the right of the company, I've got the navigation menu. So that's just what I'm scrolling through with my cursor there. It's the navigation menu. And underneath the navigation menu and company, we have the navigation bar. Under the navigation bar, we have the headline. To the right of the headline, I'm just going over the actions area of the role center. Underneath this, we've got the activities area. If I scroll a little bit further down, I've got the insights area and I've got my report inbox. So let's just go through in a little bit more detail. I'm gonna go back to the top and beginning at the top here on the Microsoft 365 bar, if I click the waffle in the very left corner here, that gives me access to all the apps in my Microsoft 365 infrastructure. So you can see here, I can click into Outlook, OneDrive, Excel, Word, and so on. And just to the right of the waffle, we've got an indication of the Microsoft 365 app, which we are currently logged into, which is D365. BC. So it is also possible to change the theme on this Microsoft 365 bar, but we can run through that in another video. Now to the right hand side here, we've got an indication of the environment that we're currently logged into. So I can click this here and that will bring up all of the available environments to myself. So I'm currently logged into Production GB and the Cronus UK Limited Company, which is why we have this tick here. But I also have access to some of these other companies within Production GB, and I have access to other BC environments here. So I've got prod underscore test with those companies. I've got Spain underscore sandbox with these companies and test with these companies here. So the next tool on the Microsoft 365 bar is the search function or the tell me function. And as the name would suggest, I can use the search function to search for anything within Business Central. So if I type in customers, for example, it brings up a list of my customers for me. So I can click this link and that would take me to my customers page. So there are a few other areas within the search function, but we'll run through those in another video. Next to the search function, I've got the notifications. So I can click this to review any notifications that I may have. 
And as we saw earlier, very briefly, I've got the settings cog, which opens me up to a number of different areas. So we'll run through these in another video, but I can use the personalize function here to personalize my BC. I can go into my settings to review my role as we did earlier. I can review my regional, my time settings, my working date, and there are a few other options here, which we'll run through in the future. So I also have the help function right at the very top here on the right hand side of the Microsoft 365 bar. And this gives me access to Microsoft Learn and other areas such as help and support and related resources contextual to the page that I'm currently on within Business Central. And finally, on the Microsoft 365 bar, I've got an indication of who I'm currently logged in as to this BC environment. And as you can see, I'm just logged in as the mod administrator to my demonstration environment. So coming down, we've got the company name. So this is currently Cronus UK Limited. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's possible to have many companies in Business Central. Uh, I'm currently logged into Cronus UK Limited. So it's just an indicator to let me know which company I'm logged in to currently. So to the right hand side of the company, I've got the navigation menu and I can drill down into each one of these options to see further details. So you can see if I go into finance here, I've got shortcuts for my general journals, I've got my chart of accounts, my GL account categories, and so on. Equally, I can go into cash management, review my cash flow forecasts, my cash receipt journals, payment journals, and I've got lots of other options available here to me as well. Now bear in mind, these are my options because I'm currently logged in as a business manager evaluation. Um, so if I was signed in with a different role, I would see different options here in the navigation menu, but that's one for another video. So coming on down here, I've got my navigation bar. So I've got direct shortcuts to take me through to different pages within Business Central. So I can go directly to my customer's page, vendor's page, items, and so on. Now, bear in mind, all of what we've seen so far is entirely customizable, but that will be one that we'll run through in another video in the future. So underneath the navigation bar, I've got my headline. So this just gives me information which is relevant to myself um, when logging into my BC environment. So you can tell me, it's telling me right now, good afternoon, mod administrator, but if I scroll through here, it tells me other relevant information. So it tells me the best selling item was the Athens desk with 18 units. And I've got some other information here too. So to the right hand side of the headline, I've got my actions. So that's the area that I'm running over right now. And we can use the actions here to raise new sales quotes, new sales orders, invoices, but I can also use the find entries function or search within data. So it's a, a number of useful actions, again, to me as my profile as a business manager evaluation. So if I come down a little bit here, I've got the activities area, which is basically showing me the sales this month, overdue sales invoice amounts, overdue purchase invoice amounts, and these are all um, tiles which I can drill down into. So you can see here I've got my sales this month of 1,237, but I can drill down into here to see a little bit more detail on that. And if I go further down, I've got some more tiles so I can go into my sales quotes, my orders, invoices, but also my purchase orders, ongoing purchase invoices, and so on. And again, I can click into this information so I can go sales orders where I have four of those. I can click into the tile to review the four sales orders. 
So coming a little bit further down, I've got insights here, which uh, just show me some insights into my data in this BC company. So you can see here, I've got a business performance chart here and it shows me my top five customers by sales value. So I can drill into this uh, and give myself a little bit more information, just hover over one section of the chart here and it will give me some more information. So to the right, of the um, chart there, I've got my Power BI section where I can integrate Power BI to BC. Uh, so that's one for another video, but we can directly show Power BI charts within the BC role center. And finally on the role center, I've got my report inbox. Uh, this is a, a section of the role center to which I can send reports once I've run them in different areas of my BC. So for example, I could run an aged accounts receivable report and rather than waiting for it to run on my user interface, I can let that run in the background and when it's finished, it can send the report to my report inbox from where I can download it. Um, and that's a very quick introduction to the Business Central home screen. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next one.